a 3D printer is really easy to use. We just need SOLIDWORKS uh, to create our pieces and then send it to it and he will print it layer by layer. Uh, of course, um, it's a 3D printer is nice uh, to create prototypes for projects and of course make really good innovations. So, um, here is our smoke machine. Then on put it on, uh, we have our smoke produced about from water. Um, of course, we have our airflow machine in which we can study airflow in front and behind our different pieces. Uh, the first one will be the cube. Um, the second one will be a whole sphere like this. And of course, we have our drop of water produced in the 3D printer. Um, we produce our smoke with our smoke machine and we introduce it in our airflow machine through some different holes. And we can see the airflow uh, moving in, uh, in front of the piece here. Uh, of course, we can see on the front one airflow and behind some turbulence. Let's study them uh, now. Our simulation gives us some more information about this, our shape. Uh, we can observe the velocity or the percentage, percentage of turbulences, but, uh, but also the air pressure. In this case, here we have a high air pressure in the front of the shape and a low uh, on the top, on the bottom and behind. Uh, the air pressure is responsible for the trail which have our object. If you as I don't know what is a trail, I'm going to explain you. Um, the trail is a force uh, which in our case uh, slows down our car uh, when, it, when it is in movement. So we can see in the front a high pressure, a high air pressure. In the top and the bottom we can see a low air pressure. Hi everybody. On the right side of our screen we can see our cube here. Um, of course, it's a simulation on SOLIDWORKS, and uh, we are looking about the airflow um, around our cube, and we can see that on the back here, we have a lot of turbulences. In the same way, on, the sim on the, our experience, we can see our airflow, and we have the same turbulences on the back of our shape. So, on the left, we can see the experience in the airflow machine with the hard sphere, so we can see the hair flow which passes through the shape and makes some turbulence on the back. And here we have the simulation on SOLIDWORKS where we can see the hair flow and the two some turbulences on the back.